Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Paint Everywhere. Uh, my name is Mike DeSisti. Thanks for joining me. I know I am not in my traditional setting where I normally do this podcast. Um, I'm, a, I'm in the work um, podcast room. Um, it's a Sunday afternoon. I had to come in here and reset up the studio um, where I have a lot of my paintings in the first floor lobby um, after an art show this weekend. It was called The Occasional Artist. It was at uh, the North Point Lighthouse, and it was really cool. Um, so, But I removed all of my large paintings from the uh, studio where I have everything downstairs and I in the office here at the Journal Sentinel, and I took it all over to the lighthouse to display it for the one night art show on Friday evening. Um, and then I removed it from the art show and brought it all back here to the journal Sentinel. So, um, I was just setting it up today on Sunday and I, um, we have a podcast room here and I thought, um, <laughs> I, I was kind of moving, dumping some files off my computer and I was sitting here and this is the room where I do that. There's a computer with a great big, huge hard drive, had a bunch of work files. I was cleaning my computer off and I'm like, you know, a lot of times I'm, I'm like waiting for the right moment to record a podcast or, you know, waiting for some material or, you know, I, you know, I, I think I should maybe write it out or, you know, have something ready to go. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I really don't have anything. I'm just going to hit record <laughs> and, and ramble for a few minutes um, and kind of see what comes out. And um, this could be horribly rambling, which it's uh, already kind of turning out to be, or, um, you know, it could be kind of informative. But the art show was really cool. Uh, I brought a lot of large, you know, 36 by 36, three feet by three feet, three feet by three feet paintings. Um, I brought some four foot by five foot paintings. Um, and then kind of at the last minute, I, you know, I have a lot of photography too. And I decided to print up some photography, uh, some smaller prints to sell those, you know, for a lower price, um, just to kind of see what that was like. Cause I've never, um, I've only done one other art show, um, and that was called Art at the Atrium, and it was in Shore. Well, I've actually done two. I take that back. I've done Art at the Atrium, and I did um, um, the Milwaukee um, Art Night, um, and that was amazing. And that was a lot like a longer term one um, where it was a couple nights. Um, but I did Art at the Atrium last year um, in November, and um, this was a little different because it was just one one evening. It was from four to eight p.m. and um, it was really cool because the 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 most recent one, which was on Friday night, uh, it benefited the uh, North Point Lighthouse. So all of the sales, uh, 30% of the sales for each piece of art went to the upkeep of the Lighthouse Museum, which um, is, is completely uh, funded through donations. Um, and it's a really cool museum. It uh, has a lot of information about the, the lighthouse that's there, which you can go up into the lighthouse um, through guided tours. Um, but... I don't know. It was really cool. A lot of people showed up. It's their biggest fundraiser of the year. Um, unfortunately, you know, I did not sell any paintings. Um, you know, the lowest price one that I had for sale was $450, you know, so I, I wasn't completely shocked that I didn't sell any paintings, you know, and I had larger ones that were four feet by five feet that were 1500 bucks. So, you know, it would have been amazing, but I, you know, I wasn't surprise but you know like i said at the last minute i decided to to throw in some some photography prints that i don't really i've never i've never tried to sell and like i was saying you know this is the third art show that i've done and every art show that i've that i've done i've you know i've never tried to sell photography before because i don't have a lot of photography you know you think oh i've been doing photojournalism for for 25 years um you'd think i would have a lot more photography but you know a lot of the photography that i do um, it's for my publication and all of the images that I shoot for my publication are property of the publication. So people will see, you know, oh, you got this great photo of the moon or, you know, the, the, the a political protest or something like that. Well, if it runs for the Journal Sentinel or for any kind of a publication like that, that's property of the, pub of the publication. So I can't turn around and sell that at an art show. So, you know, I'm, I, I, you know, I've, you know, cobbled away a number of personal prints over the years, you know, not that many, but uh, some, and those are the ones that I ended up, uh, you know, 
matting. Some I matted and some I framed and uh, sold a few at the, the art show at the Occasional Artist Lighthouse show. Um, and those those are the only things that sold. And I sold quite a few of those at the Lighthouse show. So that was kind of cool. Um, and so it, I, I kind of learned a little bit about, about that and about how there's a little bit of a market for um, selling that type of art and um, – and maybe possibly doing more of that in the future, you know, having having some large uh, paintings at, at an art show um, and then maybe possibly offering some some more of my personal photography as well, too. You know, because I think it's important when you're having these type of shows, you know, if you just have super duper high priced, you know, fine art prints, you know, people that are perusing art shows aren't necessarily going to, you know, on a whim – Spend eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars on on a large on a large painting necessarily. You know, um, they're gonna maybe see it and think about it, and you know, maybe get your email address and get your business card, and and then you know, go home and think about it. Hopefully, and then you know, have your information, and then um, and then give you a call and make a contact with you, and then and then maybe get it in the future. Um, I just ended up, you know delivering a, a large uh, four by five abstract piece of artwork that uh, I did um, a while ago to somebody today, this morning um, in Glenville, Illinois. So, and, and this is a collector that has collected um, an, another piece, a smaller piece for me uh, about a month ago. So he reached out. Um, it was something that I was selling on Facebook marketplace. And, you know, he said, Hey, I, I, I saw this other piece that you had and I want to purchase this one. So, um, you know, you just never know where different uh, markets are going to to appear. And, um, you know, I do have a newsletter and it, it's it's really another interesting thing, too. I know I'm kind of rambling on, but, you know, I, I've only been doing this for about a year and a half. And when I when I dove into it and I started doing the the painting part of it, which was amazing, it was uh, it was I mean, it was when I started just painting abstract art. I was like, this is fantastic. It's a lot of fun. It's a great release. It's, it's meditative. Um, and then I really started diving into the marketing aspect of it too. And, you know, thinking once I posted my first one on Facebook and I sold it, it was a great big, huge piece. And I, you know, put it up there for like $1,500, which, I mean, we can talk about pricing all day long. You know, you go to art shows and you see large pieces like that and they sell for three, four times that amount. But, you know, I'm just starting out and I'm not going to like post or, you know, try to sell something for an exorbitant amount of, uh, of money. So, but, you know, after I saw that and I thought, you know, this is really cool. I want to try to do this again. I, I really got into the marketing aspect and, you know, how to sell artwork and how to do this. And, you know, I read, read books and watched some videos online, but, you know, a lot of, there was a lot of continuous, um, kind of refrains on different things that you do in order to sell your art, you know, and a lot of it was, you know, you know, a lot of your collectors are going to come back to you again and again and again and to, to treat them right, you know, and, and, and it's true, you know, there was, there was other things that I read in books too, you know, like here's just different, do this, do X to sell your art, do this to sell your art, you know, and the reputable book, reputable books that you, that you buy and that you read, I mean, you, you put these practices to work and they actually work. And I, I'll, put a couple of links to some of the books that, that were helpful to me. Um, I know there was, well, I don't even, I don't have them on hand. Like I said, I just kind of sat in front of this uh, podcast booth uh, at work and just did this on a whim. So I will put links to some of the books um, uh, in the, in the show notes um, that have helped me um, to sell some art. Um, I, I'm by no means an expert um, on doing this, but um, I have read some things and listened to some podcasts and they've been really helpful to me. And you you listen to this, some of this stuff and then you actually do it and lo and behold, it actually works and it's crazy. Um, so it's been really fun. It's been really cool. Um, but the Occasional Artist Art Show was, was a lot of fun. Um, I didn't sell a lot, but that's okay. I talked to a lot of really cool people. Um, a lot of people I saw that, you know, came out and supported me. I was in, in the show with some amazing artists that I've been following for a long time. You know, um, uh, um, Michael Brophy, um, 
Um, Julie Taylor was there. Ann Reed came out. I know I'm just blurting out names. A lot of people don't know who they are, but um, they're, they, you know, there, there's, I don't really, um, you know, I, of course I, you know, look at a lot of historic dead artists and stuff, but when I first started doing this, um, I, I really looked locally and I looked at a live artists that are living and breathing in my local area. Um, that were doing some really cool work because I could reach out to them and I could talk to them and I could ask some questions in the Milwaukee area. And that was really helpful to me. So, um, you know, I'm not saying that you should do the same, um, but it really does help. And, you know, I, I'm telling you that the, I, I know that this was like this early on when I first started my photojournalism career, you know, and it's like this so far I'm discovering in the artist uh, field too, in the, in the artist community, when you have a question um, about something, you know, I just reached out to somebody the other day. And again, I apologize that I don't have my notes in front of me or my phone, even my phone in front of me. Um, but I reached out to somebody the other day and I said, Hey, that, that, the, the, the tent that you got, um, um, on your website, you did an art show, what kind of tent? And, and like five minutes later, they reached out and said, this is what it is. This is how I got it. This is how I set it up, you know, and it, it just, it's, people are super helpful, so don't hesitate to ask questions. Um, and I know I would return the favor as well. So uh, I think that's going to do it for this short, kind of abbreviated, impromptu episode of um, Paint Everywhere. So thanks for listening and uh, subscribe. This is If you're watching this on YouTube, I appreciate it. And if you're watching it or listening to it on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you get your podcast, please subscribe. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.